Hey you guys, this is Nicole from Spiritual Thoughts. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk about ego and self-love, the difference between the two and how you can tell if an action is based out of a strong ego or if the action is based from a place of self-love. So first, let's talk about ego. So a lot of you have probably already heard about the ego and have come in contact with your own and started to notice it in your own life. So basically what the ego is, is the sense of who we are. The idea in our minds of who we look like to other people, what we express to others, and who we want to be in the eyes of other people. So basically our ego is the thing that makes us want to look good, makes us want to be cool, makes us want to be really successful and have all of the things that everyone else has. But the ego isn't always bad. The ego can also help you build a strong sense of self in that you have the power to choose who you are and display that to the world and to other human beings. So the ego isn't always a bad thing, but usually it expresses itself in a very strong way. So a lot of people that you meet who have big egos are going to act like they are better than anyone else. So it's possible to have an ego, everybody has an ego, but it's possible to have one and not be arrogant or full of yourself. So the ego is where all of our sense of self-importance, our sense of self-esteem, self-worth comes from. But it's very different from self-love. Acting from a place of ego is acting so that you may look a certain way or be something in the eyes of society or other people or even really to yourself. You might just want to prove to yourself that you are a certain way or you can be cool or you can be successful and rich and beautiful and attractive and all of these things. But a place of self-love, real self-love, comes from a place of wanting not only to better yourself from an ego standpoint of just wanting to look better, but actually to be better. Not just for how you look to yourself and to others and to society, but to actually create a better impact on the world. And the main point of real self-love is to serve in the evolution and the growth on a personal level and as a collective consciousness level for humanity. So I'll give you some simple examples that I have seen countless times, not only in my own life, but in the lives of people around me. Let's say that you want to lose weight. A place of ego tells you that you need to lose weight so that you can look good to other people and you can look good when you look in the mirror and look at yourself and say, I'm so beautiful. That ego will tell you that you look fat and you don't look attractive. But a place of self-love will tell you that, yes, maybe you need to lose weight, but not because you need to look attractive. Just because you want to feel better in your own skin or have more energy or live longer or be more comfortable in your own body. All of these things are from a place of self-love. Another huge thing is related to money. Ego and money are hugely inter... Ego and money are so intertwined with each other and usually when you're making money a lot of the times your ego will take over and tell you that you need more. That you need more than you could ever even need and things that you don't even need and things that you probably don't even really want. So all of these things come from a place of ego of telling you that you need to be like everyone else and have all of this extra money and extra random material things that you might not necessarily need. But a place of love will tell you to make money so that you can support yourself, so that you can do things that you love like travel the world, so that you can help people with your money. Maybe you want to give to charity or just to be able to help your family. Maybe someone in your family is struggling and you want to make money to be able to help them. 
Maybe you want to make money so that you feel better as a person and you're able to do the things that you love and be happier. Those aren't reasons related to ego, in my opinion. I think that making money should come from a place of self-love so that you can support yourself in this world and not be greedy when it comes to money. Only making and taking what you need and what will make you happy and not what will make you look good or be successful in the eyes of society. So those are just two easy examples. This can really be applied to any kind of choice that you're going to make. Always ask yourself if it's coming from a place of self-love and bettering yourself over ego and looking good. So I hope that you enjoyed this little topic that I had for you today. If you have any comments or suggestions for videos, definitely leave them in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. I'm sending you all of my love.